serving six life sentences, Christodoulos Zeros was both feared and fated for his role in November 17, a Marxist militant group which claimed the lives of more than 20 politicians, businessmen and foreign diplomats and military officials over 25 years. For the authorities who'd faced criticism after allowing him leave from a high security prison, some relief. They'd offered a million euro reward for his recapture. The struggle against terrorism is constant and painful. I'd like to say to our citizens that we are doing our duty and we continue our efforts to protect them. Whilst on the run, he'd appeared in a video threatening armed action over austerity measures undertaken under Greece's international bailout. Criticising the handling of Greece's financial crisis, he threatened politicians and journalists, vowing further attacks. Whatever public sympathy November 17 still retained appeared to evaporate after the killing of the British military attaché Brigadier Stephen Saunders, gunned down in June 2000 while sitting in his car in an Athens traffic jam. But despite growing public revulsion at their actions, N17 continues to have a certain mystique. The re-arrest of Xeros could just serve to be the final chapter in the long-running saga involving one of Europe's most notorious armed militant groups. Russell Trott, BBC News.